All right, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Oh, shit, the YouTube's a little too loud, the music. At least for me, I don't know. It's always different for me and, and the audience. I don't know why. I'm having trouble balancing it. Okay, now that's just nothing. All right, back to the game. All right, so we got, uh, fuck, I didn't love my two. Oh, no. All right. We got, uh, everything going wrong here at the beginning of the day, but we got Blink Hercules up against Scylla. I'm actually pretty happy that, uh, it was Blink Herc here, that, you know, that I was doing it for the, for the challenge, because this would actually be a good game to go Blink in, in general. Scylla's gonna try to gain as much distance as possible against you and make things really difficult. Right now she does no damage, but she didn't go the bank cross route. Um, at least she didn't go the tier 2 bank cross route. And that helps her clear a lot, so I'm not sure if this is the right decision for her. But it does keep her from getting first blooded, and that is important as well. Hercules is one of my favorite gods, it's true. As long as you body walk it. Oh my god. Oh my. All right, we're good. I felt like we can do that because, like I said, she had no damage. So all we need to do is hit it with our one or wait for her to do that. Put the crush down prematurely and then, you know, we have the benefit as Hercules of knocking the buff away from uh, her clear. I'm just gonna go on hyper farm mode right now and just take this shit out real quick. Right, we can try to get back to the wave in time. I really like this skin, man. I have number one Herc right now. We still holding it down. Got a decent amount of games that played on him, too. I was just talking about how the God leaderboards are such a joke because the more games you play on a God, the less likely you'll be to have uh, a top uh, score because they don't assess it well. They should calculate the mean better based on how many gods, uh, or how many times you've played the god, you know? Because people can just play 10 games and go 8 and 2 and be at the top. And that's always been a problem with this system. Also, uh, our tournament on Sunday, you guys, is Assassins only. Uh, S tier and below Assassins only. Just meaning basically Baka, Kali are out. And I think that one's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I think we're doing one defense only. Yeah, I think it's uh, Assassin's only one defense. So that should be a lot of fun. Already wearing the weight of an elephant. elephant. It's like two bands each, so you get a, a good amount of uh, Assassins that kind of counter each other. Like Nemesis would be an interesting one, because into some she won't be a good pick. Like a Sir Cat will destroy her, but I think Sir Cat's probably going to be able to beat general. But I think Bastet will be like a top pick, but then if you take Nemesis into it, things change. So yeah, one that we haven't done before, and uh, yeah, one that I'm excited for. Shout out to Rob, actually, who had the idea. Hey, what's up, Genlife? I haven't seen forever, man. How you doing? I'm gonna YouTube video right now, so I'm gonna talk to you. Nah, but where you been? a big, big boulder? Wow, I really thought that. For some reason, I thought my travel time on that was so much bigger. Okay, she ended up opting to just go for the creeps there. Oh, Alright, obviously still worth, but unfortunate. I uh, even leveled the three there to try to make sure that if I got it, just before it hit me, I could have three and tried to live. No good, no good. But yeah, still, still definitely win. Unfortunately, what she did was perfectly root me just as I blinked. It was a really good reaction time on her part. I was mad when I saw we were fighting a Scylla at first, because I'm telling you, all the YouTube videos lately have been me going up against like an irrelevant god, or it's somebody that's like lower, you know, lower level. But this guy, playing on the Scylla. One thing Scylla's got is uh, strength against warriors. She can outweigh them um, and just, you know, get to that late game potential kite them around and do massive amounts of damage. I'm coming off of one of the sickest Scylla games in my life, actually. Where we played up against a Hachiman. I really wish that one was for YouTube. But 
But yeah, this guy actually seems really good. He's got the Book of the Dead strategy as well to try to keep himself alive for a long time, which is the, the classic Nuda strategy. We're running out of mana here, so overall he's definitely uh, looking good. I'm gonna try to clear the wave real quick and uh, see if we can continue to contest. Take the small days. Duel me, get it? There we go. See, our secure is still just a lot better than hers, and the crush doesn't come out that fast. I mean, crush is a fantastic secure in general, but if I hold my driving strike, driving strike's probably one of the best. Incredibly quick and fast. That's true. Revenge does give almost as much as first blood. I think it's still worth though. Oh, is the music too loud? I told you I was trying to mess with it. I'm sorry, you guys. Hopefully, it is better. You gotta sniff, please. Also, guys, in uh, recent days, I've become a full time uh, Mario Odyssey photographer. You can check out some of my work on twitter.com slash mshadow0. Also, I might be getting my Twitter back because it turns out Hindu man who got banned got banned for telling me that he was going to kill me. He was quoting Taken, the movie. He said, uh, what is it again? What's the line? I always know it, but now I can't think of it. Um, I will find you and I will kill you. Yeah, that one. So he did that and they banned him for that. <laughs> And uh, eventually, he finally got his account back for it now, though, because he was able to locate, like, you know, what happened to uh, them somehow taking Taken seriously. But, yeah. Really nice. Even with the blink there, it's it's hard, or the bees, rather, it's hard to uh, react in time to get away with Scylla's 3, of course, because she's got to put it on the ground. So it's just kind of like Uller having to switch dances, or old Uller, now that he, like, insta switch stances probably able to just get out of that regardless but yeah so since i was in that same thread i'm thinking it was probably the, i got probably got flagged for the same kind of thing I can slay a dragon with this. as ridiculous as it is i'm gonna go shell here yeah i'm, I'm gonna like this shell shield thorns could be nice too but her damage is more sporadic or like one heavy kill combo I think I won't recognize to use the thorns. It's not like I'm going to be, like, you know, setting up for the boxing potentially. I'll probably use the thorns after I get hit by this and then only be able to use it on the ult itself in those situations. Exerting a lot of pressure, um, and it looks, it, you know, it looks one-sided right now. But she's actually doing a phenomenal job for the position that she's in. Scylla's early game is incredibly weak, but her late game is very, very strong. Like, not even just strong for a lower tier god, she's just strong in general. Kind of like the culty, you know, he actually does turn into a strong god in the late, but you have to just stop him from getting there. And same here, um, but it's hard to actually stop her, you know, we gotta start looking for gold demons and stuff. You kinda have to play it as though you don't have the lead. Actually, that's not true, you just have to play it as though you want to always further your lead. Oh, that was weird. Okay, this is good. Wow, I can't believe that killed it. What? Invisible girl. What's this guy Pez doing? What's happened? 
I do YouTube game for one second, guys, and the chat falls apart. This is what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, here... I think probably Jotun's. I'm not gonna be able to get many auto attacks off on her. Most important thing is to get the ward here. Later on, when she's done with uh, her skills and, you know, I have enough oh, yeah. pen and everything, I might be able to try to just go for a hasten to stay on top Always of her. Be prepared. Yeah, she knows our strategy here. No, everybody knows you want the bull demon in this kind of position. And he's probably saw the word. Right? Are you well. off? Oh, no. Still healthy as fuck though, because I'm Hercules, and she doesn't have anti heal, and really can't build it for a while. Oh, good, you got a beast there. And she's afraid to teleport to that because we're here. Nice shots though, she's really on point with this. Oh, I don't We don't want to give her safe passage here though, we don't know she wants to go. Try to get that blink going now. Damn. Good escape from her, smart ult. I don't get how she's three. That one I think I just missed. But she's threeing ridiculously quickly. Once she gets anti heal, this bench is gonna be really hard because her constant poke will actually be a problem. Yeah. yeah this is somebody that I've never seen before. I love seeing like you know red talent come out, cool, especially on weird gods. She's narrowed the lead a little bit, I'm only up 1k. I think I'm gonna go beat the king and go back on my, my own advice about not going for auto attack here because she's, uh, you know, so elusive and hard to pin down with the autos. I think that's the only way we're going to see if it is. The same goes for ability damage. I can't pin her down, or even when I do, she's going to be way too healthy with this Book of the Dead plus the um, Breastplate. Book of the Dead, by the way, gets 200 health, and it gives you extra health in a shield. So that's, that's why that item is so huge as a tank and uh, campy item. Not tank, but you know. Very campy, uh, healthy, bulky ass item. That also gives you a lot of power, 100 power, and uh, more life steal than Bancroft's. Kind of crazy. More flat life steal. All right, so pressure. I can slay a dragon with this. And yeah, we'll go for the haste katana. Let's try to ward up. The blink will help us close the gap a lot, um, and once we have the uh, his katana, it'll actually help us close the gap and hopefully do something with it. Like I said, just pushing her with the driver's strike doesn't do much right now. I get that little bit of damage, but it translate it more. Perk's an easy target to nail with that, uh, with that uh, one of hers as well, so that's Your middle definitely a problem. Hit him with the big ult. And we should be able to take a good amount of tower here. Get to the ground. There 
right now. Yeah, the whole tower is actually going to go down, which is great. It's all about those, you know, forcing the position in those little engagements like that. You know you can't kill her, but if you get her to uh, back, then you take a big objective, because now this opens up the full DP King for us. The tower is really not that important in and of itself, but the fact that it, uh, you know, gets her by opening up the door. I think she's still be on an ult. She could definitely steal this. But she's probably at red right now. That's why it's always good to go for this while red is up. But you gotta recognize like the tree. Red first. Uh, gold demon on a tower that's mostly undamaged and you don't have much push potential. Like if we make nothing off of this push, then it's really unfortunate that we get red, so definitely gotta make nice points. Finish up the katana. I can slay a dragon with this. Uh, it's kind of awkward for her, you know. She wants to go anti healing, but at the same time, she's not doing much damage. She wants to go the raw pen from Obsidian Shard. And that's one thing, good thing about Hercules. You know, he puts you in a really bad spot because you, because he's so tanky that you need an early Obsidian, but at the same time, you need to get your anti heal. So, important. so in, in the same position, I don't know what I'd do, honestly. It's definitely super tricky. Because if he gets anti heal, but he's not doing much raw damage in the first place, it doesn't matter. Always just keep eyes on the Phoenix at this point. You know, just like knock her away, do whatever you can. She's not doing much damage yet. So this is really how we're preventing her from getting that late game point. But the problem will be taking the Titan, and it's always going to be the problem for everyone in Duel ever. Easiest way to uh, wow! Look at my healing, see? <laughs> Oh man, I actually dropped Titan aggro. Resetting it a little bit, but it's okay. Yeah, so in her position here, I would have gone the Obsidian as well, I think, because I'm just not doing enough damage. But yeah, it's just a double edged sword. There's really no easy answer, in my opinion, in that position. If you're ahead, I say go the, um, the anti heal. And if you're behind, go the Obsidian. It's probably how I would do it. Yeah, it's just one of the strengths of the god. Other than that, I mean, Her Hercules is a little bit predictable. Um, and at the later stages of the game, he's you know, a lot easier to box. So those are his weak points, you know? Uh, making that, that whole healing thing not as OP as it could be. Alright, it's really big. Oh my god! Destruction. GG. We hit him with a sick double tap. Bop. We just bopped her in the back of the head. That was a really good game. I didn't think.